and welcome. We're back one last time here at Spielraum Wien. Yes, finals. Uh, Final for time. For those who read the chat, they already know it. For the others, we tell you it's a Maru Death Shadow, Dominic Aspenik against Dominic Cooper with four color Ursa. Yeah, we saw both these players on stream earlier. Yes. Um, yeah, I'm very excited for the finals. I did predict that Urza would win the tournament. <laughs> you so did? So, we'll see. I mean, I'm kind of rooting for the Austrian, <laughs> so... <laughs> yeah, for, on the one hand, you want your prediction to be right, on the other hand... On the other hand, I would love to see an Austrian win yes. the tournament. And yes, it, you have a much better win rate if your first name is Dominic. Yeah, <laughs> obviously. That's Dominic Mira. <laughs> so, uh, the, the guys are already on the table, are shuffling the decks. So we will go to the table cam. Yeah. Um, very interesting uh, note about the semifinal that we didn't stream, that uh, Dominic obviously won. Um, he was speeding up um, hardened scales in that matchup. Um, he won 2-0, to zero, winning the first game by putting Hex Parasite into play and then Turn double, done double Death Shadow. Turn and 2? And was like, okay, never mind. I'm and going down to two and uh, you're dead. Yeah, but before he went down to two, he played on turn three uh, Ranger Captain Eos. Uh, just so to be safe. <laughs> to be safe with her Death Shadows. Nice. Yes. And uh, second game he had um, a Death Shadow again and Hex Parasite, who was uh, in the second to last turn removing a counter from um, the land, what's it called, from Future Sites. Uh, uh, the... <laughs> yeah. Lanawa okay. way. No, Lanawa. Yeah. Lana was something. Yeah. Lanawa reborn. Yeah. 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 Yes, okay, yes. He he was uh, trying to figure out a way to lose, and he came up with, yeah, I have to remove the counter now, because if you draw like um, a creature, then a cre yeah, yeah, twice the hardened scales uh, if trigger. He, if the only out he would have had if he was able to cut, play land, and um, go for walking ballista with the counter, and then shoot him. He removed the counter in the next turn, of course. Walking Ballista showed up, but it, but it was too late, and Death Shadow finished the game for him. So... Dominic starts... Uh -huh. No, uh, Dominic <laughs> Aspenik starts because he was first after the uh, Swiss rounds. Yep. So we have... Uh, okay, we will try to uh, say Aspenik and Kupal and not yes. Dominic if possible. Sure. Kupal takes uh, uh, Mulligan, Mulligan because yeah. he had one or zero lands. Yeah, he had the one of um, Inventor Sphere. Yes. I uh, think he has only one, right? Um, yeah, he has yeah. one Inventor Sphere and it was in his hand. You saw from the way he was drawing his last card, he was like, come on. <laughs> give me a land. <laughs> give me a land. Give me a here. colored land. Um, uh, where you can you can find the deck list on, on our homepage but, uh, after this finals or as fast as the. Archangel Christopher <laughs> puts them up. So yeah, um, we did not post a deck list during the top eight because competitors, of course, <laughs> have mobile phones and they can check um, yeah. our online coverage as well. And, and the deck lists are not public for the players. So yeah, this yeah. is no this is no Pro Tour Mythic Championship or whatever. This is the qualification tournament, and uh, yeah, you get to keep your secret tech secret for now. Not for us. From <laughs> us. Not from us. Yeah, we know every little bit of it. Um, so do Dominic, you, do yeah. you saw Aspenik's hand? Do you get a glimpse of it? No, I think I saw one Ranger Captain of Eos. That is all the information I have. Um, <laughs> but uh, since he kept, he's of course uh, on the play because, as you pointed out, he was number one of the standings. I can only assume his hand is somewhat decent. Wow, so Dominic with a uh, lot of lands Kubo now. With a lot of lands, but Urza. And then I heard Wellspring, and he needs to put a card away anyway. Yeah, so I think he's gonna keep that yeah, one. Three actually. lands, needle, Wellspring, and the Urza is okay. Yeah. It's no super powerful hand yet, just yet, but it has all the tools it needs. Yeah, and he, what do you needle? You needle, hmm. you needle a land. You needle. Maybe he's even putting away the needle. Or ne no, you needle hex parasite. Oh, that's also a possibility. Ah, uh, you needle a uh, ranger captain of Eos. Mm -hmm. hmm? So he gets to cast stuff. Yeah, that's also possible. <laughs> yeah. yeah. So there's actually actually quite a few targets to name. Okay. Are they Players waiting? Are calling a judge right now. If they can start, they can start. Deck lists after the tournament is over on our homepage. Mm -hmm. 
be. So, Kupal has some questions. It would be interesting to know what he asked for. Yeah. He puts the water grave on bottom. And we're off to the finals. Street, Street grave. grave. Maybe he's asking if you can pipping needle that. <laughs> ah. So. I see two title skulls in hand for Dominic. Yeah, and going to 16 with the blood. And 14, 14 already. No, wrong, wrong, wrong. <laughs> was Dominic yeah. never in our feature area? <laughs> yeah, he was, but he <laughs> apparently never had to use uh, go up in life. <laughs> Death Shadow only goes down. So, thought sees. What do you take? Hmm. I take the Echo Wellspring. I'm very much inclined to take Tarizer right away. Really? But you have removal for that. You have Parthas, you have... Yeah, but still, it comes push. down and you get the advantage of uh, producing a token. It's just such a powerful card. I mean, Dominic does have um, other interaction spells in his hand, and like Title Scholar. So, yeah. But, yeah, you want to take away the most powerful card. The other stuff is like <laughs> Engine to get your deck going, but Urza's the payoff. And it immediately produces like a somewhat decent sized body. So I'm thinking about Needle here. It will be interesting to see what he names. <laughs> Thanks for that troll comment. Yeah. So. I'm somewhat afraid he's not gonna write out a huge like sheet of paper with a card name written on it what he names with Pithy Needle, right? Hmm. It's not gonna do us that favor. No. So we just have to guess what he's naming. Probably I I, I assume Ranger Captain of Ears. Or he is it Hex Parasite? Still in the naming process, so yeah. <laughs> you guys shouldn't ask for deck lists. You should actually be asking for lore videos from Patrick. <laughs> Check out our YouTube channel. Find our latest <laughs> videos and post lore video please under it. If we get uh, more than 100 comments with lore video please, Patrick will do a lore video and um, you most certainly want to see it. So. I hate <laughs> you so much. <laughs> okay. <laughs> we don't know what Pithy Needle was Naming. called. S naming, yeah, uh, now Death Shadow takes uh, Tidehala Scala number one takes. I think the Goblin Engineer, yeah. Yep. Passes the turn. <laughs> yep. Dominic will win. It's <laughs> not sure which one. So, Mox. Mox. There's a land and, and an Astrolab, Astrolab, which he <laughs> he can play the Mox, but not, not cast the Astrolab right now. So the second tight holder color can take the Astrolab. Yeah, Dominic has quite a few permanents in play already, so finding something like... Um, a payoff. A <laughs> yeah, any payoff card. Like, the Urza would have been huge already here. Yeah. And um, top to Foundry also be very nice. You can cash in the Ich Spring for a token, draw a card, and Title of Skull is taking away the Astrolab. So a bunch of 2-2s two beating down Cupel empty-handed basically. He has one land in hand that uh, Aspenik knows of. The Prairie Stream coming down and the Mishra's Bubble. In this matchup you want to bubble at... Yeah. He okay. yeah. After. He wants to see. Okay, there's a Street Wraith. So he gets his draw step in his upkeep, not now. Yeah, which is a very important because of the Discord Sorts spells. Yeah. And Inquisition and stu such. So we already see the team of Battle Rage in hand for Dominic. Does yeah. he have. He has, uh, an he has a Death Shadow and, and a Ranger Captain. And an Unearth. So already in. Very much in the driver's seat here. 
Supal is the pronunciation. Supal. Supal. Okay. Supal. Ah, yeah. All right. Big C. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for joining us. Supal. <laughs> okay, now he's trying. Supal. <laughs> Thanks, Mate. <laughs> it's like these Austrian can't pronounce anything correctly. <laughs> Did he just? Yeah, he drew the top of the foundry. <laughs> wow. <coughs> now he's cashing in the wellspring. Gets a token. Gets a life. Um, he's on fourteen. Death rate is three three. Can grow to four four. Six six. Which makes twelve. Okay. This is already close to being over, I think. Wow, not a shock land is huge here. Yeah. So he goes down to <coughs> sorry, he goes down to eight, which makes the death shit of five five. He cycles street wave. Oh, death shit is seven seven. Yes. Which means um fourteen power. Dominic can muster one additional blocker and gain one additional life up to fifteen. I think he has lethal here, right? Yeah, and pain land, which is two damage. What two additional damage? damage. No, because it, it because he can gain double strike. Ah yeah. Okay. So I think Dominic has this one. Okay. I mean if he sees the line, but I assume he does. So down to eight even not updated. Yeah. Supal with Girapur Ethergrid in hand. Which is a fun addition to his deck. And also if Aspenik somehow fails to finish him off, um <laughs> could could just win the game. But I do think that Aspenik will be able to, to win this turn. I mean we already are at the Seven. point where we have we figured out what to do but uh, you have to remember this is the finals after a very long day okay he's he doesn't want to screw anything up here he's not attacking with is there any reason not to attack with the other yeah so if you think you have a lethal yeah sense in the other one as well so <laughs> Two ball in the tank. Yeah, I mean he needs to jump block, and then he's dead to the battle rage. And yeah, I think he's for now he's thinking about whether or not to produce a token and gain a life. Sure. So pithing needle's gone. Doesn't matter anymore what it named. So is he? <laughs> Is there any line where he's blocking Title Scholar, thinking he can get back one of his cards? I mean, the Goblin. Yeah, yes, that's, that's what he's going that for. That's for the winning play. Yeah. If he survives this turn, then yeah. he will survive. He will win because he got his word. But and that's the death. Double strike. Yep. Just count it up again. Seven, seven, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, and that's it. That's game one. Dominic Aspernik leads the finals. the finals of our MCQ. MCQ, yeah, with Mardu Death Shadow. So wow, impressive game. What I, I really love this matchup. Yeah, it's it's an interactive matchup, and it you you don't see the writing on the wall i mean with the battle rage now you saw it but on the other way it's it's can go up and down so quickly because each spell has a lot of impact yeah and then you have the uh luck component with uh Ursa activation yeah. <laughs> dominic was very quick to board out the spine of ishsa here <laughs> gerbo ethergrid is going top off of course pithing needle damping sphere and i think it was um one pented prison um, let's take a look at his sideboard. Um, Celestial Purge, of course. Fatal Push. Um, Galvanic Blast. Yeah, you see Fatal that. Push. Uh, Galvanic Blast. Um, the Welding Char. 
Mm-hmm. He, uh, Teferi and Tezzeret again in the sideboard. Not sure if those are coming in. Teferi, he put on this pile, but I just think at the moment he has more cards to give in than to put out. So. Oh, he's taking out the second prism as well. Yep. These are cards that are very good for the fast combo because with Urza you're producing uh, more mana than you're investing in prism. So, um, because we're in a post board game. Yeah. yeah. Okay, the Galvanic Blast is coming in. Galvanic Blast, both Fatal, Fatal push, push. And the Teferi. Teferi, the Welding Char. Okay, and this Purge, of course. Of course, so that's the Purge. Um, and Aspen Lick is, I think he he's considering taking out the Mishra's Bubbles. Um, he's running a Plague Engineer on his side, but of course, Pithing Needle, Stony Silence, all great cards. Um, against Zupal, so this I think he's gonna bring them in. Yeah, I'm quite sure, but here's a red. C I saw a red card flicking up, and I don't see it. Pillage? Yeah, I mean, you can destroy an artifact, right? Yes. It's artifact the land. Yes, I so think maybe it's, it's the pillage. So maybe he's putting that one in as well, yeah. I hate the grid coming out because he's not scared of Stony. Yeah, maybe he's, maybe he's not expecting Stony Silence, although. White deck. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I mean, he can still go like to fairy, bounce it, <laughs> and then combo, but it would be a long shot. <sighs> so, so, last cards are getting changed. Aspenic should be a bit more in the camera, and we could tell you everything. Okay. That if we just. Okay. Wow. Bringing in the Girapur. Yeah, yes. he's putting it back in. <laughs> <laughs> he yeah. heard you guys. Yeah. <laughs> he heard you. Yeah, he heard you. <laughs> <laughs> Took out one Golden Engineer to put the enchantment back in. Uh, it is indeed the Pillage. Yeah. So, artifact removal coming in. Ah, oh, come on. <laughs> put it in a way that we <laughs> can see it. Nope. Star Aspenic not being no, too nice to us. No kindness here. Ah. So one last look at his sideboard. Okay, yeah. Did he remove all the bubbles? I think he did. Okay. Probably too low impact. And, and he's bringing Sony Silence. Yeah. Numbers. Yeah. He doesn't want to shut off his own cards. He, he kept in Ranger Captain of Ears. Yes. <laughs> we can confirm that now. Visible for everybody. Yeah. I'm not sure if there's a match where you're bored about. <laughs> I thought it, actually. No, no. <laughs> can't be. <laughs> it's just too good. Card advantage creature with uh, a relevant ability. Yeah. That you can unearth. <laughs> <laughs> that you can unearth, right. So Speaking of which, I think he boarded out one unearth. Mm -hmm. Not sure about it, though. Where will the deck lists be posted? They will be posted on our website. www.spielraum, like the name of the host, um, dot co dot at. Patrick is posting uh, the link in oh. the Twitch chat. Yes. You will be able to find all of the deck lists from there. the top eight. From the top eight, yeah. <laughs> not, not <laughs> We're not posting uh, all 128 deck lists. No. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, maybe you can talk Christopher into it. So no, <laughs> you never could. So, Mr. Aspinik is taking a break or stepping away from the table. I don't know. Have he uh, drawn his six? No, uh, he didn't draw. He was opening a hand. So as maybe some. maybe as a question or as Plato was calling. I don't know. Hmm. Tupel is in a rough spot. I mean, he's on the play now, but um, he can't lose another game this <laughs> tournament. <laughs> <laughs> That's basically it. Yeah. It's all coming down to this. Once maybe not. Aspenic has finished shuffling. shuffling. <laughs> Every day I'm shuffling. 
Yeah, we've seen <laughs> way too much shuffling. <laughs> <laughs> but we we didn't see that many mulligans. Yeah, actually. that's okay. That's there was, true. There was, I mean, we had mulligans to five, but we had mm, very few. I I'm yeah. dead due to mulligan. Yeah, situation. there was there was like no game where it was like, okay, mulligan to five, turn three, I'm scooping because I yeah. missed my land drop or something like that. Yeah, and we had I think one mulligan to five. Um, Michael Brandner, yes. Mike, of course, um, but he was still in that game until his opponent played Blood Moon. So, <laughs> so land, land, and snaring bridge, Mishra's bubble, Inventor Sphere, another land, Urza, oh. Fatal Push, Inquisition, Title Scala. Scala. Don't know how many lands. At least three. Is it three lands? I see a swamp. I see a dual land, and I see the last one is also a land, isn't it? I'm not sure about that one. I can confirm that I see you call the shrine. If it's it isn't, if the it last one is a is a is a basic planes, isn't it? It has the the um, unhinged, unglued, whatever. Un artwork. Yep, yeah, yep, yep. You're right. Ah, so I, I, I know my basic lands. <laughs> I think you keep from both players. I guess. Yeah. Aspendic is considering. You mean it's not ex both hands are not explosive. Yeah, I mean, Fatal Push is <laughs> not it's great. Not a great card in this but matchup. But it, uh, okay. Yeah, he's he's shuffling it back in. Back in. I mean, he's on the draw. Yeah. Still, it's like, I, uh, <laughs> if you are in the finals and you up one game, you don't want to be the guy. Second game, Mulligan down to five, lose it, and then <laughs> lose, lose the third game yeah. because. Whatever reason. Yeah. I mean, you do have two games and you only need to win one out of it, but you're out of just... Yeah. <laughs> you feel the pressure. <laughs> yeah. Both Everyone is like, yeah, it was an intense finals. I won 2-1. to one. No. You just want to have the save 2-0. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Not be in danger at all. So... There's... W one land? No, I think there is a second one. Okay, I see. Two lands. Inquisition... Path, path to, to exile, exile, which is better than Fatal Push because it gets rid of Urza. One uh, Ranger Captain of Ears. So. Oh, he's, he's considering putting back. Okay, so I think he put back the path. But. And kept the Ranger Captain. Okay. Mishra's Bubble. Okay. Draws another land. No, three lands. Which is good because he has the Ranger Captain. Goes to 18. I mean, it's enough lands that he probably doesn't need a fourth one. And there it is. Speaking of which, <laughs> link to deck lists. Um, we already posted a link to our um, homepage. The deck lists will be posted after the tournament once Christoph has uploaded them. Um, <laughs> there's no deck lists being posted during the top eight because. Um, it's not an open deckless tournament, and uh, yeah, people have mobile phones, and we don't want them to be able to look at their opponent's decklists yeah. during the top eight. The Inquisition, especially took during the top eight. Inquisition took down the uh, ensnaring bridge because there wasn't another target. Now we see the the bubble was cracked, so there are two new cards for the uh, Tupal. And. Yeah, he's clearly searching for something. And yeah. so it's like, yeah, as we pointed out, it, Fatal Push is not like a, a great card against the deck. It's like almost dead. So if you take that into consideration, the hand was okay, but not great. And yeah, this is the finals. <laughs> <laughs> you can't rely on okay hands to get there. Ah, one is that was the Astrolabe. Uh, <laughs> and <laughs> another the bubble. So we have one mystery card. So there's yeah. <laughs> Let's read this Inventor's Fair card. It's a legendary land that um gives you a life during upkeep if you have three or more artifacts. And if three or more artifacts you can sacrifice it for four mana and search your library for any artifact card, put it into your hand. Quite familiar with that one. <laughs> <laughs> so there's a fetch land and no further play. Tupal will be relieved. Yeah. He's under no pressure whatsoever and has a snaring bridge. bridge. And 
only three cards left in his hand. Yeah, will we? It's, hmm. I think we're in for a long game. <laughs> yeah. The out for out for the engineering bridge are Kodagan's command three, pillage, pillage the one off, and that's it, right? I think so. We are here for a long game. I mean. Yeah, okay, he's already... I mean, he can go, like, down to 12, get a 1-1 one, one death shadow into play, attack with it, <laughs> then cycle some street graves, crack some fetch lands, and then kill uh, with the team battle rage. <laughs> so it is possible to, like, yeah, to make sneak an, an in really, on the... Really yeah. weird setup. I, I mean, weird, it's, it's possible, but... Yeah. Whew. Yeah. You have <laughs> you have to put some work into it. Yeah. yeah you can go to to twelve and then hex parasite as well. Three mana. This is a ranger captain of Eos reporting for the station. Yeah. <laughs> and um, but now he is yeah. on eleven. So two cards. Yeah. He has two answers to bridge. It's pillage. Pillage and uh, three color guns command. So he has four answers to bridge. So, Zupo fetching with his Scalding Tarn. Yeah, he already went to 19. Always mistaken. He's not fetching with the Scalding Tarn. Now they're trying to check life totals. If there's any discrepancy. That's right. He went to 19 in his first fetch, then got one life from the Inventor's Fair, and now fetched again to 19. Yep. Inventor's Fair is such a great card. It's best if you're running Crucible for Worlds in your deck. <laughs> right. <laughs> so, here comes the token that, unfortunately for Tupo, will not be able to attack. So there's a Celestial Purge in uh, Tupo's hand. So, two lands, a basic and a shock, and hand for Aspenic. A path to exile. Which is <laughs> quite good against Urza. Yeah. Because you will eventually lose against the card advantage. So, yeah, Death Shadow. We know he has that one. Hmm. Aspenic is already under quite some pressure. I mean, he has to get rid of the bridge to uh, kill Tsupal. He now has to get rid of Urza because he will get buried in card advantage otherwise. And um, the token that Urza produced is uh, nothing to take lightly. Yeah, lightly. but it can't attack. Yeah, it can't attack, but um, <laughs> it can block. So even if you sneak in an attack, trying to snipe Tsupo, yeah, you have to get rid of the token as well. It's obviously not his plan because he takes damage all the time. Winnie Lily. <laughs> oh, two mana. mana. Tapping in Snaring Bridge means he can attack. Actually. Does it work this way? You sure? Uh, it's it's it works with Trini Sphere. I think it works also with the Snaring Bridge. I'm not hundred percent sure, but I'm quite sure about it. The chat says no. It it definitely works with Trini Sphere. Yeah, it works with Trini Sphere, but it doesn't work with Snaring Bridge. I think in Snaring Bridge is uh, it's from Stronghold. I think they removed this ability by that time. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, Trini Sphere is later than Stronghold. But yeah, but. <laughs> I mean, there were a lot of cards back in the days so that were like only functioning when they were untapped. Okay, there's another land on top for for Aspenic, I think. Yeah. So two ball untapping, gaining a life, drawing an additional card of his Mistress Bubble. So he has, he a, has wire a wire in hand and then uh, Astrolabe. Just drew it. Yeah, it's gonna play the Astrolabe, draw cards. 
and la land. What's Place the last land. card? Uh, Mox Opal. Mox Opal. So mana is not the issue. Yeah. One, two, three, four, six, mm -hmm. seven. He can grab any card, uh, like any artifact out of his deck yes. at this point. <laughs> He's like, why did the board out Spiny Fish saw? <laughs> That's a card he could go for now, but I think I'm pretty sure he boarded that one out. So what would you go for here? Do you go for I I would top the foundry? Do anything at the moment. I would uh, wait what my deck gives me, and then. Uh, you mean you just like wait for which part yes. of the combo you're drawn, yes. then go for and the other one? If but bef if you take the top the foundry, you don't need it at the moment because you are not under no pressure. You are uh, not getting any damage, and I mean you can start chipping away with a one-one. That's maybe a reason to do it, but pff, I don't think it's necessary. I mean he can he can go for it now because he has. Uh, he can't get the backup bridge bis because he only has two, and one is in his graveyard. Yeah. So I don't think you get backup bridge. You get either combo piece now, untap, and you have the land to search up the other one. Oh right, that's sweet. Yes, you do. Yeah, then you... So I think, I mean, he's not going infinite. No, because, because he's, he has no... He's no Arzer, but yes. still, I mean, producing a stream of 1-1s. One Which and gain actually life. can attack. Yeah. Here we go. He's tapping one. He's tapping two. And he's getting either part of the combo. I think the foundry. Yes. Yeah, I think there's no... Yeah, it's no point in getting a sword first. So he untaps, sacrifices. He can't play the sword right away, but I think there's no point in doing that. He'll just pass the turn. Yeah. I mean, so if he draws Urza, then he will, but. Yeah, but so then he has one anyway. <laughs> yeah. So, big draw step. Urza. <laughs> too fast. <laughs> I'm too tired. My eyes can't catch it anymore. But he has four mana. But it's okay. Why and is he and doing he it? Cast, can cast it because he has a land. Yeah, yeah, he can cast it. But is there any reason to oh. go for it now? Because if he puts it on the battlefield yeah, and he doesn't have a l land in hand, then he has no way to activate it. And this way you're giving opponent the chance to like surgical extraction or something like that. Oh, he has a mox. Um, one of the moxes has to go away. Yes. Because it's legendary. Yes. Uh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he puts that in the bin. Yeah. I mean, I'm um, quite sure a judge is present at the table yeah. because that's the last one. <laughs> yeah. Okay. And all of a sudden, Aspenik is under a lot of pressure. Yes. His fetch is going down to eight. So just five. Tupel has six mana. He can produce a next uh, pr end of turn. He can produce a token, and next turn he pr can produce six, mm. which is already huge. If he wants to, he can get rid of the bridge to attack with this big guy. Although I don't think <laughs> uh, that that's probably another winning line. You don't want to get punched by Death Shadow. What's cards? I haven't seen it. Yeah. He still has one of... <laughs> I think it was like, come on, Stony Silence. <laughs> wow, another lands. I think he has Ranger Captain of Eos. And a path. And, and a path in hand. Uh. Hmm. <laughs> Gets him a body back. <laughs> Puts him in the body back. So maybe so we see a, a real final, final match. Yeah, final game. Passes the turn. Okay, Tupel is not producing a token end of turn because he's afraid of surgical extraction. Smart move. <laughs> <laughs> Another top to foundry. And passes the turn. <sighs> yeah. Uh, you play yeah, okay, I can see it. I can see it. You yeah. play it because if, if Ospinik has like Colagans command or something like that, you don't want to lose your top to foundry in response to the sword being uh, put in the graveyard, like the token getting produced. 
so now now out come the token i love this interaction it's such a good deck and we see he's still playing around stuff not using yeah. all his mana so I draw one card <laughs> unfortunately um because he's always empty handed the and draws one card for the turn he's not able to attack with the token that's equipped <laughs> yeah and he if he already uh yeah Boom! He plays the card so quickly yeah. that he never can attack. I mean, why did he have, didn't he attack with one top though? Just uh, make I one don't damage. Get yeah. I mean, if the uh, death shadow is six or five, it doesn't matter because he can't attack. Uh, and even if he can attack, he can't block. I mean, he has a battle Maybe rage. Maybe super cautious about battle rage and something like that. Yeah, Aspenik has the battle rage. But even with the battle rage, 21, that life is a lot. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, let's count that one. I mean, he can, yeah. He will not sacrifice the bridge, but. No, he will make. Two, five. S he, I can, think he, he can do go for six token because he has still the Mox Opal. To, if to he respond needs to anything, to yeah. respond to anything, then in his oh, Dom uh, uh, Aspenik drew call against command. Oh, so yeah, he but he can get rid of the bridge now. Yeah, but uh, is it too late? I think it is. Yeah, I think so too, because the problem is, <sighs> I mean, Tupol is gaining so much life, <laughs> and also the I mean, he has path. But he needs to have that mana up for for the construct token. Yeah. Because that will get big. Yeah. Double striking striking death shadow is no match for that guy. <laughs> so the question is, um I don't think he can win this turn. The question is whether he can stay alive another turn. Or is he <laughs> Miss Hex Parasite? He, can go, Hex he, he can go down to Two, which means the death shadow is eleven, no. eleven, which is twenty-two trample damage. But even then, it's yeah, but he it's not enough, right? He gains six life. Only if he just proceeds with what what he even wants to do. Yeah. <laughs> it's close though. I mean, he can destroy bridge. Yeah. And shoot two damage. What's the other mode? Two damage to a top though. I mean, to what else do you want to bring? To you, can it, you can't tap it that way. If you tap it that way, you... Oh, no, he has... Never mind, he has, he has, he has another a land, land. at the top. Yes. I was like, wow, he's tapping to one mana, it's not white. Okay, destroy that. And... Uh, Returning... Yeah. Returning Death Shadow. No. No, Street Wraith. Street Wraith, which is... Cycle draw card. What is he looking for, though? Okay, yeah. It has target target on it, so he gets to return the card. So he's up to 22. He's now counting blockers. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Clearing we're, out the board. we're moving the relevant stuff over here. So he's dead. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Going to six. Draws. Is it another call against command? I think so, but. So he wants to stay alive one more turn. But that doesn't matter. No, he can't. Because call against command is no answer now. Yeah. The problem is he can't cast Team of Battle Rage and, and path, path in the yes. same turn. But he can attack, and depending on, on how afraid uh, Tsupal is, he maybe eats a lot of token, survives, and get another attack. Hmm. <laughs> I mean, possible. Yeah, passes uh, the turn. Yeah, then he's dead. One token. Well, well, maybe Tsupal goes for exactly lethal, then path keeps him alive for another no, turn. No, he produces. Six seven six tokens, as I said. 
Yeah. So he produced six tokens this turn. Yeah, everything's able to attack now. So yeah. And in with the tokens. Four, five, he six, sent seven. seven, which is exactly enough. Yes. Yeah. Well played. That was an interesting game too. Wow, Symmetry is is awesome. I love I watching those games. The the question is if uh, Aspenik wouldn't have um, used the, the cycling, to he would be an eight. So uh, Dominic would have to attack with all his creatures. Yeah. And then the pass would be relevant. And we would have maybe another game. I mean, 27 damage he probably can't do in one turn. And, and the question no. if it just like passes no. the turn, doesn't do anything, but just passes the turn. Um, not sure if Tupal goes for it then. End of turn, you get to use your call against command. Return the card. Then end tap. Have a bunch of mana up, so I don't know. It's a tough spot to be in. There's I think so much going on. Yeah, and, and the thing is drawing the bridge if you don't can or want to attack. Yeah, this was uh, he went for the call against command on the bridge and I was like, Okay, I actually can't attack. Yeah, and that's that's the problem. Yeah. Because then he gave away that there is a possibility and uh Tupel needs to kill him or needs to be passive to stay alive even without this defensive bridge. Yeah. I mean, yeah, he's on on thirty five life, but um, Aspeni can draw things like Plague Engineer, which all of a sudden means he's in a driver's seat again, because yeah. he's getting rid of um, all the tokens. All the tokens. He's getting rid of the bridge with the call against command, and he has the path for um, the construct. The construct, and all of a sudden he's presenting like presumably a two turn clock, even against like thirty plus life. Yeah. So I think he should have just like passed the turn, gone for a call against command at the end of turn. If oh, <laughs> Yeah, I mean it's rough. It's, it's, it's really it's rough. It's a very, very tough spot to be in. Yeah. I mean we've seen how all uh the stuff played out and um yeah. Players in the situation obviously have to think about a lot of stuff. So it all comes down to this. We are one game away from crowning our Mythic Championship qualifier. Yes. Winner. Dominic is on the play again. <laughs> yeah. Dominic Aspenik is on the play oh again. Oh yeah, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> but my <laughs> my statement was correct, correct anyway. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um Aspenik seems to change his board, uh, maybe even considering it. Yeah, I don't know. But what would he bring in? I don't know. Maybe there is a change he thinks about now because of the bridge. But I can't think that he has any uh, bridge removal in his sideboard. Yeah. Or I any don't think artifact th removal. Yeah, and I don't think the bridge was the problem this game. Oh, the bridge delayed to give uh, Tsupal the time to set up his win. Yeah, but he, w he, he didn't really have an offensive t this game. And Tsupal had... Both Urza, which um, produced a token, and then top the sword with a backup top the foundry. So I yeah. think the lack of interaction from Aspenik's side was what lost him the game. I mean, he passed turn two without having a play at all. Yeah. So. That's not ideal. Yeah. And his first two draw steps were lands. Yeah, exactly. He was on three lands already and then two more lands. No pressure, no interaction, and Tupel was able, um, yeah, to win this one. So, so we're here in the last game of the day. Yeah, I uh, I actually am happy that we have a real final final match yeah. and a bit more of magic. I mean, it's late already uh, for us and the players as well. Eleven hours of playing. Yeah, eleven hours of casting, but <laughs> it has been fun so far, and um, I'm uh, very f much looking forward to this yes. last game now. So, 
one less time getting to look at Pickle Shuffle <laughs> for today. You said that, and then the <laughs> mulligan. <laughs> no, <laughs> please, <laughs> just seven cards against seven. I don't. I don't want to have a final game where either Wha player is going down to five or something like oh that. Oh yeah, that, that that's horrible. just seven against seven. Yeah, both people with great hands, and we have a good game of magic that we can bring you. Needs illness in the ranks. Yeah, well. Plague Engineer is illness in the ranks, except they can attack. The left dude. What sleeves? I think it's Dragon Shields Magenta. Probably. I think. Because Pretty sure, actually. Uh, and another one has the Dragon Shields Black Mat. Yep. <laughs> you can obviously see <laughs> both Patrick and me are usually working on our store <laughs> selling those kind of sleeves so <laughs> how does this look like <laughs> black <laughs> <laughs> so uh both dominics are drawing their starting hands for the final game pithing needle tight hole skull fatal push team of battle rage fatal push land and death shadow in hand for aspenic we have willing char wedding char a uh, lot of lands, lands for Supo. Fatal push, which is good for the shadow. <laughs> it's. I think Aspenik will mull again, and maybe Supo is inclined to keep his hand because it has. I don't know. Okay, he has a lot of lands. Never mind. I mean, he has one fatal push in the action, but. But the welling char is basically dead because there's nothing to protect. Yeah. So. So that's you jinxed it. More shuffling. Thanks. <laughs> Thanks for nothing. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So maybe we see a game where both players mulligan to four, and it's a slaughter fest of, <laughs> of top neither decks. player being able to do anything for the first <laughs> ten turns, which is also fine by me. <laughs> Hello, Jack. Bit late to the party. We are in the last game of the finals. Yeah, but good you joined us for that one. So at least you get to see who's our winner and who's get to play in the Mythic Championship. And of course, you get to see some shuffling. Yes. The deck in top eight is, we had two Chunt, um, one blue-white stone blade, one chess guy stone blade, hardened scales, um, a burn. burn deck, and of course, oh, on your screen right now, Mardu Death Shadow against four color Urza. <laughs> Only drawing fetches more shuffling. Yep. Yeah, but shuffling after fetches is not that uh, excessive. Usually. I mean, Usually. it depends on who's shuffling. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> or his <Right>. activation. <coughs> yep, let the better player win. <laughs> I love these procedures like shuffle my deck. Pass it to you, shuffle my deck. <laughs> shuffling, shuffling, shuffling. <laughs> it's Dominic Shuffle Mirror. <laughs> so, so, here we go. Who has the better shuffling skills? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Aspenic. Drawing his opening hand. In the first. Battle Rage, Hex Parasite, Planes. Four lands. Four and lands. A but a Tidal Scholar. Three lands. Oh. Two fate. Two fate. No. No, no, it's one a Pirate Spell push, Bomb. One Pirate Spell Bomb, one Sword, three lands, and a Wire. Right? Yeah, I think. You know what? The one is not a land. No, it's two it's fatal push. Okay, it's two fatal push, pirate spell bomb. Two lands, one wire, and, and the sword. sword. Which is an okay hand. Yeah. I think Aspernik's hand is okay as well. I think he's considering taking a mulligan. It's not It's not a great hand. But. but <laughs> yeah, I don't know. It's, it's so. I think it's also the, the final stress. Because. You know it's not perfect. Yeah. I mean but if he draws if he draws Death Shadow. Yeah. I think he can win turn three. Uh against two fatal push? He can Okay, he can't. Yeah, but <laughs> but I mean from his perspective if he if he draws Death Shadow he can win turn three. Because he has Hex Parasite and manipulate his life totals. And he has a team of Battle Rage. So I think Aspernik is gonna keep that one. 
Because if you're in the last game of the finals and yeah. you're like, come on, just once. Yeah. <laughs> give, <laughs> give it me, to give me. Give me that death shadow. <laughs> so it starts I'll be with so pleased. 17 and the Hex Parasite? Yeah. Here comes Hex Parasite. Plus, I mean, he, he even has... <laughs> He's already presenting his hand. Is there a discard spell? No. Oh. It's Hex Parasite. <laughs> but Aspenic says nothing. Yeah. Let him wait. Maybe he drops it. <laughs> Oops. Getting free information. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, what are you doing? There's no discard spell. There's the best one drop in my deck. Hex <laughs> Parasite. And it's a one off as, as well. So another land for Tupol. So what's the play? Land go. Land pass. Keeps up fatal push. What's the draw? I think it was a ranger. Ranger is very good here. So he now goes for title scholar, right? Yeah. Okay, takes one push. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, okay. You won't take both though. Yeah, you can take one push, but the other push is mine. <laughs> yeah. And I think he will take a push, because. Uh, taking the spell bomb, uh, you need the red mana for it to shoot. Uh, taking the wire, yeah, but takes time, and so he needs a push to get a push back. Yeah. Yeah, this way is basically like trading his title skull for push. Yeah. Yeah, going down to 18, one damage from the hex parasite, one damage from his polluted delta, putting watery grave into play, tapped. He's not the guy with. Death Shadow in his deck, so he does want to preserve his life total. So, big draw step for Tupol. Is he able to find some more business so that his wire can set it's up? It's so fast. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, when I when I cut this down for the YouTube channel, I maybe go for slow motion to see if it's possible to get a glimpse. <laughs> Sometimes I think he doesn't even know himself and then he checks <laughs> <laughs> afterwards. Afterwards. So is he putting down the pirate spell bomb or passing the turn? I mean he can put it down, it doesn't matter, does it? That's I don't know. Depends on his last card. No, oh, okay. oh well, it matters a bit, right? Because if Aspenic goes like, I don't know to ten 11, something like that, plays a Death Shadow, then Tsubo might want to use Fatal Push on Tidal Scholar, get his other Fatal Push back and, and kill, fatal kill push the again. Death Shadow. Yes. So I get it. Mm -hmm. So, is the last card... Uh, he drew another land. So I was make with a lot of lands in hand. Yeah, that, that's a recurring theme for him. Last game as well. Okay. He's thinking about attacking. Yeah, just he plays twenty lands in his deck. <laughs> well, it's apparently a few too many. It's a fatal push for a fatal push. Yeah, yeah just preserving two life is good enough. Yeah, plus the card invests, he gets right back. Going to twelve, and playing and a ranger. Yeah, I think he will shortcut it. Hopefully, please don't, don't do like sh that. Shuffle twice. Land. Shuffle. Okay, now he's shortcutting it. There we go. Thank you very much. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks a lot. Tupol is using the time to fetch as well. Probably will get his red source because of the pirate, spy pirate spell bomb, right? Yeah. There it is. There's the steam vents. So, still one unknown card in Tupol's hand. While Aspernik now with a death shadow. Though, of course, he and we know that Shadow might get pushed. <laughs> yep, but... <laughs> fatally. <laughs> fatally pushed. Oh, it's a top the foundry in his hand. He's top the foundry in his hand. And now he Wow, has draws Mishra's Bubble, which acts as a mox for the wire. So... He can assemble the combo without Urza. Oh, this is actually huge. 
So he has all the stuff he needs. He just needs to sequence this right to not randomly die. <laughs> in in the process? Yeah. I mean, Aspernik has team of battle rage, so even the 3-3 three, three ranger captain all of a sudden <laughs> can deal 6 damage out of nowhere. Or even if it gets blocked by top, top the token, still deals 5. So he goes for top the foundry, plays his last card in hand that's unknown to Aspernik, which is so, the Mishra's Bubble. Yeah, Aspernik is now with uh, full information again, which is kind of sweet for him. Yeah, although I think he would prefer if it wasn't. Oh, there's a, is there's a, a salt si saltis? Or is I think it's a second death shadow. Oh, that's that's good as well. Wow, that's that's very good actually. Because then he can present lethal even through his fatal push. Exactly. I think he's going to attack first before he's committing anything to the board. Yeah. Um. He's not gonna attack with the hex parasite here. Because I he guess he don't want to trade it against the top there. Yeah, you're not you're not gonna trade it for my opponent gains one life and loses his Mishra's bubble. Yes. <laughs> it's not worth it. Yeah. He's he's in the tank now. I think he he sees the line where he's okay. he's swinging. Oh, okay. He really goes in with both. And okay. do doesn't get punished. Okay. Pays to life, goes to ten. And here we go. Double death shadow. One. And there's a second one. And a second now. Here's the second death shadow. Alright. One, one card, card in the hands. Yes. So any point of life is precious now for either player. Inter <laughs> interestingly enough is if Tupo <laughs> plays the pirate spell bomb, then <laughs> Aspernik can't go to two. Okay. But um yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think that's happening. So, at the moment they are 3-3. Uh, three, three. Is there a way where Tupel can get out in Snaring Bridge and be safe? Uh, there is another Mistress Bubble. I mean, if he, he... If he hadn't... If he had a land or a f another free artifact. With the yes. Mistress Bubble on top, he actually would have been able to grab yes. the bridge. But he don't want it because he even fetches it away. Okay. Yeah, at this point it's it's not a good draw. So what Anymore. are you, what are you searching for? The natural drawn? Okay. Uses fatal push on one of the death shadows. Well. No surprise there. Happens. So interesting. So the chat says he should sack the captain on upkeep. What do you think about that? Prob it's probably a good idea, yeah. Then, uh, yeah. Draw a card. Draw another card. Oh, to fairy. To fairy and. Oh, yeah. He now can play Mox to fairy bounce the oh. death shadow. So okay, I think Dominic is. I mean, he still has the possibility if if Tupel goes for Mox to respond. But he, I think he won't do it. Is because he didn't sack it, sack it in the upkeep, and so. What is happening? I don't know. Maybe it's is a spell bomb sit on the stack and I don't know, it's he's speaking to the judge. <laughs> okay, is he responding now? No, he's not. Okay. So he's bouncing. Oh. Oh. Yeah, should have just gone. <laughs> Should have just gone for the upkeep ranger. Wow, and even as a land. Two mana, kill the fairy. <laughs> Hex parasite does stuff. <laughs> so, I mean, 
everything is much worse now. But so did he draw a second death shadow? I don't think so. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, he, he has two <laughs> death shadows. Wow. <laughs> wow. <laughs> and the parasite still rambles and it's okay. Okay, the thing the thing is and uh, now he can fetch the He can he can now go for bridge. Yes. So Tupol is not dead. Oh, wow. Pfft, what a game. Death Shadow. And there's Death Shadow. <laughs> three three. But they're too big for bridge. I mean if if Tupol thinks he can crawl his way out with the top to combo, then Aspernik can win. But yeah, there's no point in second it now. Should have done it last turn. We just draw sword. <laughs> <laughs> I think he just drew sword. Come on. Yeah. Yeah, he drew sword. Wow. What the heck? Wow, he actually has sword and he can now go for bridge. <laughs> wow. That's this is so just insane. insane. This is just insane. Wow. It's one card in hand. Yeah, passes the turn. Okay, so if Dominic gets to attack, he wins. Yes. But Tupel needs to look for bridge. Draw cards. Two cards in hand. Don't play a discard spell. No, go because to go to combat. Just go to combat and let it be. Turn the creature sideways. He has call against command in hand. Wicked sick! Wow, he has call <laughs> against and he's get he gets it, to attack. He gets okay. to attack. Okay. <laughs> I think That's he so wins now. Fun magic. Wow. Okay. Yeah. Okay. You get a one-one. And you can you how can I? He's he's not responding. Okay, yeah. He's using hex parasite now. What's happening? On okay. what? It it doesn't matter. He's just using hex parasite to drain. Before blocks or what? I mean, it doesn't matter if it does. <laughs> okay, um. So he does it again. Is there something that Tupel can search up that gets him out of this? I mean, he he can still use the wire, but there is nothing he can search for, right? I don't know. If Ensnaring Bridge is too late because they are attacking, Spine uh, he can't search and then I think he boarded it out. Yeah, I don't think there's anything. Um, no, I don't think so too. So you you are he can block now. Yeah. Okay. And Aspenik shouldn't go to two. Yeah. <laughs> because there's still a Mox still Opal. Mox Opal on the battlefield. But he's only run, run running one. There's no like uh, I mean only one pirate spell and there's no like Yeah, yeah, there, it, hitting you for two, two then, then or a lot wire action or something and then hitting you for two again. He also has only one red man, yes, but it's also not a possibility. Um, so, so, <laughs> okay, he's, he's making one more top, top token okay, and getting so one more life. So he's tapped out, he can search for an artifact with mana cost three or less. So he blocks, blocks, blocks. So, okay, Aspernik cannot go to two. He he maybe he's thinking he can go to two because Tupel is tapped out, but he can. But he can get Mox Opal Kapalf. and shoot him for two. Yes. <laughs> Whatever he does, don't go to two. <laughs> but he doesn't need to. Yeah, he doesn't need to. I, I'm just saying the way he loses is if he goes to two. Yeah. You just go to four, man. Stay calm and relaxed. Sh shoot. Um, come on, give us life totals. You he has con uh, Convoke is the top, there's a blue. So he can 
search. Battle Rage. I don't know how much he paid because he didn't show us. But this would be nice, no? It is inspiring as convokes, so it does have to have three blue. You guys sure? I mean, it's possible. Okay. Wow. Ooh. Nice. Pff, what a game. Holy shit. What Crazy. a game. Crazy. What but a game. I mean, it was really intense and crazy but you also saw that the tournament took his toll yeah wow what a game um yeah he has ferocious he had uh the players obviously didn't uh, update life totals um, yeah because he activated his hex parasite so yeah. yeah wow that was an intense match but uh <laughs> dominic aspenik on mardu death shadow wins, wins in the finals wow. so you are happy because uh, yeah. a, a Austrian player won, <laughs> or you are sad because it was a lost? <laughs> oh, it's okay. I'm I'm very happy that an Austrian guy won the tournament. Um, I was happy to see Urza in the finals. Thanks to the guys of St. Madeling, top eight deck lists are now on our homepage. The link is posted in the forum, uh, in the chat. Yeah, so I mean, um, people are pointing out if you search pre-combat for bridge, you would have been fine. Although um, Dominic heads Colagan's com command, so I think he would have died either way. If he's, I mean, he has to tap down everything. Yeah. Search so the bridge. Dominic goes for destroy bridge. Two to your face. Go down to. Uh, I think he had um, seven life or something like this. Go down no, to five. Ten. Has, has he had no, ten. no, but uh, he gained life because of the top the tokens. Oh, so you mean? So you the mean, ten life uh, is not accurate anymore. He he was Super. on seven. Yeah, <laughs> Super. Yeah. He goes down to five and then gets attacked either way. So, yeah. yeah. <laughs> wow. Great magic. Yeah. Aw awesome day. Um, yeah. And very intense last game. Yes. I love it. It was great. Uh, I think we are done. We had now 300 uh, viewers. I'm very pleased. We had a, a spike of 600 viewers or if more at one point yeah thanks for everyone for thanks tuning everyone in. for tuning in i hope you enjoyed the uh, awful a lot of magic um <laughs> the awful coverage <laughs> no an awful lot of magic the wonderful coverage <laughs> with awful lot of magic uh if you missed something uh we will put up the uh wards the cutted wards so only the games on our youtube channel which is also spielerraum wien if you search it uh, and uh, some sometimes during next week if you speak German, you can watch our YouTube channel as well. And Even if you don't, you can watch it either way. Yeah, you can watch <laughs> it either way. We're fine with that. Yeah, we have pictures <laughs> for the deck list when we do deck checks, so you can watch it pictures. <laughs> <laughs> okay, um, I think that's it for us. Uh, thank you very much for watching, Matthias. Thank you very much for doing the coverage with me. Um, it was a pleasure. You can uh, follow us also on uh, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram. And uh, yeah, you can see us in Spielraum Vienna or at the next YouTube video or even on, on Twitch with the next coverage. See you then. Bye. Bye. -bye. Have a good night. <laughs> this was fucking awesome. <laughs>